here's our 1950s Grumman 17 double end canoe scout been working on uh, getting a rudder adapter made and fitting a rudder to it this is the uh, the stock Grumman rudder but we did not have this piece that goes on the stern the adapter so we made that out of fiberglass and a couple of uh, Ron Stan stainless steel gudgeons the uh, Rudder has a little uphaul line because it just falls down into position. It also has two different settings. You can set this bolt if you want it mostly vertical. You can put the bolt up there and it, it would actually come a little further forward if you want it. This is uh, continuous line steering. We've run it up to about the midships because that's how long the line was that came with it. So I think that's where it goes couple of blocks uh, tied in up there and then run back and to uh, steer it's simple if you want to turn right you move the line forward or if you're sitting on the other side it's all backwards so it's a lot of fun to uh, try and figure out which way you're gonna go for the um, for the up haul I made uh, just put a little jam knot in here can fit under the stern and when she wants the rudder to come down just take that and jam it under the this uh, stem cap here and that's it makes a huge difference makes even bigger difference we found out when the rudder's actually in the water, so we paddled around for a little bit, thinking that's not working that great. And then I asked her, "Is the thing actually down?" And she didn't. I hadn't told her about the little magic jam knot, so she reached back and released it. The rudder drops uh, right down like it's supposed to. So it's just weird. Things like this that uh, fascinate me. We could stand out here all day and play just with this thing. So that's uh, what we've been working on today. And uh, also managed to get uh, the day sailor back on the lift.